I guess I'm gonna start working on the steam engine too. It looks like it's a dead end tech, but it should be fine. Okay, and bring you back and actually replace place the vehicle. Okay, replace. Whoa, we're getting these are more. Where did we get the rest of these? Oh, some of them are diesels. So there's actually the LP 1620s, which are better than the L10s. More expensive, though. But you know what? Money's no object. Wow, that is a zippy car. Okay, nope. I want to go to this. And yeah, it carries even further. Well, note to self, do all tech before I start doing replacements. I say after doing replacements. Well, not all tech, but what tech I can. Yeah, these guys should be able to kind of keep up with the coal demand. Not to mention we've got a whole big stock up, uh, stock of coal rolling in. Uh, let's see, anything else that I really care to work on? I guess, honestly, I should probably go get a, uh, a lab up here. I'm not sure if I want to have two research going at the same time. It probably isn't a big deal yet. I'm gonna sneak it all the way out here. Start new research on Rails, Rails 2? New Braunfels now accepts... Oh, more iron ore. Wait. Hold on. How's New Braunfels demand? Okay, no, 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 no. New Braunfels is way supplied. Or maybe it's not, actually. Shit. Well, it looks like we're heavily backed up here, at the very least, so that that's good. Means I could probably clone one more of these trains. I'm currently lacking the funds. Eh, maybe I don't need to. What I do need to do is actually take a look at my coal line. I guess it might actually just be worth it to take you. Bring him back to the depot. Okay, you. So, let's edit this. Let's edit a couple of things. Because one, we can actually replace it. These are very expensive. Maybe I shouldn't have. Also, we just finished Steam Engine 2's. Holy butts, this got complicated. What's the difference on diesel? Diesel looks like it has considerably more horsepower. But I'm... I don't really need horsepower. The one problem is, yeah, the steam engines are going to have trouble going up uh, inclines. But this sucker, we just need speed and nothing else. Okay. Good luck, Train 2. Go fast. Yeah, replacing a lot of my, uh, my train engines at this point would actually make a huge difference. I wonder if there's a way that you could automate that. Uh, have them go back. Because that... What's an asset editor? Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Settings? No. Because that was one thing that I really liked doing in um, OpenTDD. You get, you get a new uh, train model and you'd be like, Okay, uh, yeah, start replacing this old model with this new model whenever we've got money. And they just do it, you know, periodically. That always felt really tight because, yeah. You didn't have to, like, micromanage it. You just say, just go. Use the, the any cargo drop down at the top of the truck selection. Filter for an appropriate truck or train car. 
Maybe? I can check. Ah, yes. So if you only want to do coal. Oh. That actually will probably save me some trouble in the future. Wait, you can do that in OPTTD? Yeah, you can. Or at least in the version that I was playing. Okay, I'm gonna have him go back. Because we've got the hor- uh, uh, Oh god. We got the horsepower. I could probably fit like three more cars on this thing. That is a big train. Oh, interesting. It's not pulling from this one at all. Weird. I'm not sure why. Okay, that should work with the warehouse. It just was only pulling from the the nearest one for some reason uh, that I honestly can't tell you why. And now it seems to be pulling from the warehouse. There's some odd priorities here. It's not bad, it's just confusing. At some point I'm probably gonna have to tear this whole thing up, but that'll be later. Okay, that should be good. And that should be enough coal to, yep, satisfy them again. So I would say our next order of business is we probably want to start replacing some of our iron trains. Let's see, I've, I've got the money for it. I'll replace like one or two of them. Uh, let's see. So we want to replace this with... I like the GS4. It's cheaper than the diesels. It doesn't have as much horsepower. But it's still considerably more horsepower than the, than the C17s that I've been rolling with. And yeah, moves almost twice as fast. 50% eh, faster. Is this the game music or my own? This is the game music. It sounds pretty good, actually. It's very appropriate, at the very least. You know, I wonder. I'm actually going to remove... We want to keep New Braunfels, and we want to keep Arizona. But, let's get rid of Windsor. This sucker is just going to run run the basic circuit on Braunfels and Arizona and, and nothing more. Okay, so now I've got I've got some income. Let's uh let's start rail upgrades. Because I'm going to need a bunch. Has Wander taken over the world yet? No, I'm actually playing very conservatively. The other thing to think about is I might want to. There's the storage on this warehouse. I might want to upgrade the iron train that goes out this direction.
guess I should probably just keep an eye on it and wait for it to show up. Because, yeah, it's slow. Slower than I would like. I might also need to up my uh, stone production. Let's see, okay, so it's you. He's gonna unload. And then we're gonna warp him to the depot. I wonder if you could almost like micromanage this in such a way that y you'd use depot warping. Like, really heavy micro with depot warping. <laughs> you might actually be able to do that, too. It'd be very strange. Uh, let's see. Anyway, so we want to replace this sucker probably with another GS4. Uh, GS4. I like the look of the GS4, too. It's so fast. Okay. So let's head up over to the stone. We got to get another stone quarry. Then we got to get a warehouse. We might actually have to get two. This connector down. And stone. Okay. And stone. Okay, so the reason why I want to do that is it seems like uh, trains will only pull from one mine, not two. And so it's easier to just throw things in storage with a conveyor system. It makes sense, it's just really weird. I wonder how complicated later research will be. I know I need like wires and some other stuff for some of the higher higher tier bits. Uh, let's see. So if I want to replace this with Well, we want to work on woodworking. Woodworking requires wood planks. So we want to we want to actually start unloading some of these things. Now we don't actually have any wood stored. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. around. Okay. So that should start propagating hell of a lot more wood than it was. And I don't think we need more than that. I thought this would work, but this is not actually a good idea. We need, we actually need faster conveyor. Let's see. Can you run multiple researches in parallel? Yes, you can.
Okay. So can I just do a connector like this? No. It has to be right here. I don't think this is the most... efficient manner, but this will be okay. This should be okay. My demand isn't that high. Let's see, so what do we need for woodworking? We need... We need planks. Plank. Oh, right, I can build bridges uh, with lay conveyors. So in that case, conveyor through here? Cannot. Doesn't look like I can build it over a building either. It looks like I can only traverse over other conveyor belts and nothing more. Okay, so in that case, this this goofy little side route is no good. This might work, though. It's gonna be hideous, but... I mean... That's normal. Oh, That hurts my... That hurts my soul. sure it's all rotated the right direction. That should be good. I love conveyor belts in games. I have, like, no interest in it in, like, I'm gonna call, call it, like, industry or, like, factories or anything like that in real life. It's never appealed to me, but I, I love it in video games. I don't think that'll ever change. Ugh. It just feels so satisfying. Okay. So, you're going to hold on to boards. Okay. At some point, I'm going to have to tear all this up and move it around. Uh, because we're going to have to make, like... going to have to make, like, chairs and stuff, which is going to be interesting and concerning. Okay, did you finish? Yes. So finished rails. So rails two re uh, rails three requires steel, and this requires iron. Ooh, that'll increase uh, carrying capacity though. That'll be nice. All bang for my buck. Do roads. Finifactor is the best conveyor game in your opinion. I should play that someday. I'd like to. Okay, so huh. That newly upgraded train, still not good enough. I guess it's not that big of a surprise. Okay, science. Start research. We want to get freight rail cars too. Which should double the capacity of everything I'm rolling with, which is useful. Okay, so any new re any new businesses pop up in, in the meantime? I wasn't paying attention. So Windsor's getting less iron now. That shouldn't be a big deal. And yeah, I could actually start uh, expanding out into other territories, but I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get all the research done first because I and have like a spare million. Because last time I didn't, and it made me rush, and I don't like that. But yeah, someday I'll sit down and play Infinifactory. Wasn't that a um? Was Infinifactory a Zectronics game? Unless I'm mistaken. I think it was. Hmm. 
I might have to scale this up. Yeah, it looks like I'll have to. Let's see. How do I want to do this? I guess let's lay the conveyors first. I guess I could have organized that a bit better, but that's okay. Oh, I can make uh, steel now too. I don't think anything requires it, but it will. Gotta loop it in like that. This really makes me want to play Factorio again. I probably... I'll probably load it up in the next week or, or two. I, the other thing I could do, or should do, is actually probably get in contact with Avac now that he's, now that he's properly moved in and be like, Buddy! I need my factory fix. I've been getting it in other games, but it's not enough. Cause I really enjoy doing uh, satisfactory with him. Let's see. Okay, so Infinite Factory is Zactronics. Figured as much. Is this? This is just all backed up really bad. Okay, well that's fine. Backing up is exactly what we need. Okay, so we've already finished freight rail cars. And that's, that's done so entirely. So we might want to start producing and holding steel. We don't have any copper. Yeah, we also need metal fabrication. I'm going to start a metal fabrication. If smelter is not active. No, they're all active. Okay. So, it's not carpentry. Okay, so we want to make some steel. Okay, that got really confused for a bit. I think it'll work. Let's see, I'm going to move that further out there. Hopefully we're not going to need too much steel. We're probably going to need a whole bunch. Let's see. And yeah, this isn't exactly the most scalable situation, but uh... Okay, factories, alloy smelter. All good I think that's all good I think I probably should have checked this warehouse oh that is by far not in range yeah I'll probably have to move this over ah. well nothing to man steel right now I'd rather just have a supply of it just sitting around Okay, so how's my research going? Because we can't do woodworking too. Metal fabrication, not enough. That, But that just means we're waiting. We really limited on iron bars. 
Shouldn't be. Okay, so next up would be stone processing. I hope we don't have to make or handle too many of these things, because that's actually going to be a giant pain. The factory setups in this game are not really meant for it. It kind of is. But still. If you ever got the chance to combine two games, which two games would you choose? <laughs> uh, you know what? Okay, I got two. This and Satisfactory. Which, like, it's kind of getting there with Satisfactory, but I just want the capitalism aspect to it. Because uh, it'd be cool if there was, like, industry nodes that you had to ship resources out from to actually, like, pay upkeep or something? I don't know. It's weird. Uh, and completely unnecessary, but still. And the other one would be, like, Don't Starve and Orcs Must Die. Either Don't Starve, or like, some other open world, like, really good open world survival game. Uh-oh. Okay, let's turn that off for a second. I'm actually starting to bankrupt. So you would be Spore in any proper polished game. Imagine working proper polished Spore game. I mean, you could just say, like, Spore and good, but that's not a combination. That's... that's just somebody actually making Spore into a good game. Oh, metal fabrication's really expensive. Wow. Damn. Okay, note to self. More... more money. Mass Effect in a good 4X game. Hey, ugh. I don't know. I don't think that would work nearly as well. Like, that would take far too long to make, and no developer will ever succeed at that. The best you get is some kind of, like, weirdo MMO kind of situation. Let's actually turn that off and switch back to stone processing. Because we can finish the stone processing pretty quickly. But yeah, we're gonna... we're gonna need to actually expand to new lands, if only... Oh, hold on. Okay. Let's replace you. Any cargo? Wood. Okay, so I need some more money before I can actually get that. Then we might want to save up. Yeah, that new truck should be faster. Let's see. So we... We are getting enough... Oh! New Braunfels is now a city. Cool. Now... It would be kind of fun... Yeah. Set up some industry manufacturing, etc. in a Mass Effect. And then play in the galaxy help build. I would actually really like to play a game also. And... This would be really hard to make, obviously. But one player is playing Dwarf Fortress, and everybody else is playing as the dwarves. But it, there's a little bit more to do. Like, Dwarf Fortress plus Satisfactory would actually be kind of cool. I know that's kind of what, like, Stonehearth is, but, like, it would just be nice to have, like, effectively a bunch of players playing, like, some kind of weird mix of Orcs, mu Orcs Must Die slash, like, um, Morrowind. And, well, one person is playing, like, a, a crazy town builder manager thing. So, you know, you might just be out adventuring in the wild, and then, like... Uh... I don't know, King Kakujo is like, Shit! There's, there's, there's Balrogs in the dungeon! I need you guys to come back! And everybody's like, uh, we've still got, like, wooden swords. And he's like, deal with it! Come help! Our civilization's dying! And then they get all wiped out and so you're a bunch of, like, rogue dwarves just wandering around, unable to do anything or go anywhere. Or, I don't know. That'd be really cool. Well, 
Let's see. Didn't they combine RTS and FPS some time ago? One player is building infrastructure and everyone else is shooting aliens? Uh, maybe? Yeah, there's a tower defense FPS game or two. One person coordinating the defenses and everyone else building or shooting. I, I've heard of them, but I've never actually seen any succeed. Oh. New Braunfels now accepts stone. Uh... I guess I might as well just make a train for that. Bye. Hi! These are some things. Um... Let's see, we probably want a GS. And we want stone. Platform car... Two. Oh, interesting. Has no weight limit. Oh. Wow. Holy shit, these are expensive now. I mean, justified, but yeah. 